Hey, hi friends. I, I can understand it is very difficult to you know get interview and get selected for the particular role. Uh, every one of us is like uh, try to you know enhance ourselves. So just help you out. I have uh, I have recently interviewed uh, by the first cry, and uh, I have recorded the live interview. So in this video, uh, I have added that recording. Please uh, stick to it. Listen that whole recording and make your points and try to figure out uh, what kind of answer you're supposed to you know answer when they ask any question to you. So stick to this. About yourself. Yeah. So my name is Akshay Bayas. I'm located in Pune. Uh, I have completed my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunications in 2015, and I do have total four years of work experience. So initial two years. I worked in the networking domain as a, a support engineer and analyst and the recent two years I am working in Gensa Technologies as a data analyst. So here I am working on a SQL queries and to develop Tableau dashboard. So here I also communicate with the different stakeholders for data analysis and uh, report validation part. What kind of data analysis uh, you have done? Yeah, uh, I do the of financial data analysis here a requester and the salesperson come to us with their requirement and we run the SQL query on based on the requirement and the criteria they are looking for and based on that we get the data from the server and we do validation on the orders like for example if customer had purchased some devices from Cisco and if salesperson want to you know, offer a new offer to in customer so in that scenario the in customer looks for the credit that uh, the uh, credit for the purchase they already had so in that scenario we do the data analysis and we validate the eligible products for the you know to apply credit on the particular line and in this process we do communication with the uh, different stakeholders and uh, business units for uh, so for some kind of uh, exception scenarios and all and based on that we prepared our uh, fin final report so that salesperson can give presentation to your customer okay So while doing this analysis, do you give inputs to your uh, client? Yeah, for our, uh, like I'm working in Sensor, so Cisco is our client. So basically salesperson uh -huh. is from Cisco and they do work for in customer of Cisco. So we do communication uh -huh. with our salesperson. Uh, very frequently we interact with the in client in very complex scenarios where salesperson is not sure if in case they are not sure about the report and the products and maybe sometime criticality depends on the scenario in that situation we uh, do a webex meeting with each customer to explain them what exactly is the issue and how it can be resolved so you uh, have you ever given any input to the sales person yeah yeah in like, day to day basis we do like what kind of can you give me an example that any uh, problem statement you might have worked on yeah, yeah. in the past, you gave your input to the salesperson so that he can present it to his client. Yeah. So mm -hmm. one of the scenarios that I would like to share with you. So recently mm -hmm. in the uh, last quarter, the Cisco launched one new offer. So in that scenario, in that particular offer, in customer have flexibility to over consume the products that they had purchased. So in system incapability due to this kind of system incapability uh, whatever over consumption has been done at in customer side is not updated in cisco's database because uh, uh, business unit applied the manual discount to the orders so that's why the system was not able to you know pick up that line and up update so in that scenario a salesperson came to us like uh, in customer had purchased for example 100 licenses and uh, they actually consumed 150 licenses so there is a gap of 50 more licenses so 
they need they needed our help to you know analyze the data so here we worked on the two different uh, databases the first database is like at customer in uh, cisco have a separate database where customer can utilize their licenses and it can be uh, you know accessible and the second one is for internal where the data is loaded from you know order creation to processing and all till entitlement and till launching so we compared these two databases i mean compared these two data from these two different databases and we analyzed the common and the over consumed lines for validation and we gave that data to our sales person like these are the products lines which are over consumed so they can confirm with in customer and generate invoice accordingly You have mentioned that if you worked on Tableau, yeah. So, uh, any dashboard that you can share with me? I do have a profile on Tableau Public Gallery. So, uh -huh. I have done uh, thirty plus projects on my own. So, yeah, uh, it is accessible. I think the link is in my resume. The link is in your resume. Yeah, in the bottom. Mm. There is. Great. So in my day-to-day -day activity, uh, when in customer is not aware about the process and uh, offer, then we do a story development for them. So we prepare the story uh -huh. so that they can, you know, they it it is helpful for them to you know read and go through the process. Uh -huh. And also once offer and order is booked, so we also prepare one tableau dashboard for final presentation. So that in customer can yeah. have a very, very good visibility of what they actually have, what they have purchased, how much discount they got, and uh, what is the current consumption. So in single dashboard they can see everything. It's like that, it is uh, we try to do. Okay. So Akshay, uh, how good you are in MySQL? In MySQL. Uh, I don't develop the queries, but I am very good in joining the table and uh, put these put conditions to filter out the relevant data. Okay, uh, but you have never uh, wrote a query on yourself. Yeah, we we write the query on our own. Depends on the that criteria provided by the salesperson, but the uh -huh. criteria is like uh, it is limited, like. Uh, they want data from different data sources for particular web or web order ID or order number. So like that we develop the queries, but uh, I have not developed you know, complex queries on SQL. Okay. So what will you rate yourself out of five? For out of five, the things that need to be done from as a data analyst in SQL part, so I would rate myself uh, 3.5. Okay. Hmm. Can you write a query for me uh, where you can fetch uh, recent 10 transactions? Recent 10 transactions. From a table. Yes, recent 10 transactions from a. Uh, from any table, from you assume a table and just fetch recent 10 transactions, 10 transactions for me. Okay. Uh, shall I give any name to table or table one? Any, anything, anything will do. Okay.
You can write the query in the chat. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing in the chat box. Recent in transaction, right? Okay. Yes, recent in transactions. I posted in chat box. Uh -huh. So here I, uh, I mean I called table one, and here I select in select statement I'm calling a column transaction ID and uh, for transaction date I put I'm putting max transaction date and uh, limiting to ten. So okay. Hopefully it will uh, return you know recent ten transaction. Procedure and SQL? Um, not written, but uh, I have learned uh, while doing online courses. I learned the store procedure how. I think I, it is the bunch of SQL queries which can be recalled in further statement if you need. Right? Okay. So here. Uh huh. This. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So. Second. I just want you to write a SQL query for me. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, uh, why I'm writing, making you write these SQL queries for me is because uh, we mostly fetch our data from SQL only, and then we do the analysis as is the later part. 
and uh, we don't have a dedicated person to fetch these records for you and then you can work on analysis but no it's not like that it's here you works on a stand alone basis you fetch your data you work on it and you give give the deliverables to the respective head who might have asked uh, or who might have gave you a problem statement or might have asked you to report uh, the data for for them so suppose there is a table with order details in it so order details as in order id and uh, and the products which were bought in that one particular order so it will have product id in it and on the the day which uh, the day when the product was bought so the date the mrp of the product and how many quantities uh, uh, were bought by the customer okay so this is a day to day scenario where we fetch these data from our database as you know that first guy is selling so many products uh, on their online website and in their offline business too so we have this the query like how many uh, how many quantities were sold or uh, what was the revenue what was the sale so you yeah, have well, a order date order table where you have all these data in it so the order table will have order id product id then uh, mrp of the product and the quantity sold and the date at which the order was placed okay this is one table and another table there is where you have the uh, details of the product uh, product details with where you will have the name of the product and the brand of the product and the category in which the product belongs so the first query which i want you to write is to fetch uh, me month wise uh, order count so like in december month there were 100 orders were placed in january month there were there were 200 orders were placed and then february 300 so so on and so forth so i want the result in this format month wise number of orders placed so okay. write a query using these two tables okay Month-wise, how many orders are placed for a particular product, right? For a particular category, we'll okay. go into that. You can do that, or just give me month-wise how many orders were placed. Okay, okay. First, you give me month-wise how many orders were placed, then we'll go deeper later. Okay. So, uh, shall I consider the product name as a common attribute between these two tables? Yeah, yeah, you can name or product ID. Yeah, product name as a common attribute between mm -hmm. these two tables. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Huh? Yeah.
I pasted the query in chat box. same data in your excel sheet so you have order id product id order date and uh, mrp and quantity and i want you to find month wise quantity sold how will you do it in excel month wise quantity sold so in excel yes. i will do the filtering on month or or i can do the conditional filtering on month so that i can directly get that okay all right uh just one last question as you have already worked on w i just want to know can we use filter in all the worksheets in all the worksheet in tableau yes yeah for if uh, it is little tricky question give me a second yeah i think in all worksheet no filters in all worksheet if let's say i created a filter in one apply the filter one. on the dashboard file then it will reflect throughout the worksheet back in whatever worksheets that we worked on what if i have created one filter in one of the worksheet and can i use that same filter in another worksheet yeah it is possible data source for this both the worksheet is same yeah if you apply the you filter can. on data source level then by default it will be filtered on all the worksheet that we will work are you sure yeah on data source level if we apply the filter then whatever mm -hmm. worksheet we create in you know further for creating visualization no 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 you are not uh, applying filter uh, on the data source i'm saying that the data source for all the worksheet is same yeah and i um, i started working on a worksheet and i've created a filter in that worksheet okay now i am creating another view using the same data source Can I use the filter which I have created in the previous worksheet in the new worksheet? Yeah, we can use. But Are you sure? Do it again with another worksheet. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. If we, if we apply filter and on one worksheet and let's say if we create another worksheet and if uh -huh. we want to use the same filter. Uh, it will not work the same filter, but we have to you know apply the same steps on the second worksheet. But if we are on dashboard side and we have applied filter on any particular piece of dashboard, and we have option to apply that filter to all the you know pieces, so by default it will reflect in worksheets. So all the worksheet that we worked in background, it will automatically filtered. But it okay. is possible from dashboard side. If you apply, if you do changes on dashboarding, then it will be replaced back to worksheets. Okay. And can you tell me the difference between uh, the live data and the extract data? Live data is like uh, live connection with the original data source, and the hmm. extracted one is nothing but the table stores the uh, data on his. memory or virtually it stores and it loads the data data from that uh, extracts is bit faster compared to live because uh, tableau need refreshment to know load the data from original data source and update the visualization hmm. okay one last question uh we uh, have so many products on our website which are live and uh, customers buy those products and after buying those products and they use it they read those products as a normal e-commerce website where we 
rate and review the product. Okay. So we have like we have what more than ten lakh rating and reviews for all more than ten lakh review or rating and review data in our database. So you have this data with you where you have product product detail and the number of ratings, how many customers who have rated and the reviews. So if you have to build build a product uh, if you have to build a report around this data, what will you give me? A report like as in uh, what is the requirement in reporting like? So you have this raw data with you. Yeah. So this raw data, I want you to play around this data and I want a report out of it. Mostly business heads comes and say that the, the rating and review data is there and we want a daily data or daily report on this data. So okay. what will you give to the business head? So here I will try to create the visualization based on the review and the rating. I will categorize the product accordingly. What kind of products are highly rated and uh, what kind of products are with very low rating. So it could be helpful to work on the products which are very low. And uh, on the top of this, uh, uh, we can also create uh, different visualizations like I can create heat, heat map also on this so that the you know our management when it look it at the data they can directly catch the data with high intensity like the popular products are among the customer and the, the products that need to work more and to sell more in business so it can be possible i can do that also and possibly uh, here we can also implement a machine learning algorithm where we can uh, highlight and we can you know at least forecast the data the products are with low rating if we apply kind of business rules on that and if we try to implement machine learning uh, we can forecast it what will be the business for that low rated data in next six months and what can be implemented and what uh, like a kind of advice we can highlight with the help of that which forecasting model will you will use? Forecasting model, like regression method. In regression method, it can be possible. Um, not in deep dive kind of forecasting, uh, but yeah, it, it is possible. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Akshay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank Have a good you. day ahead. Any questions you have? Uh, yeah, like I just wanted to know the, the technicality expectation, like expectations on this job role. What is the exact expectation and the future scope? Like if anyone is up for this job, then how he can you know, achieve the more and more in this role? So uh, technical expectations from this job role will be mostly of that you should have hands on on SQL, Excel, Python and any one of the visualization tool that you have already have for you know, like Tableau. Yeah. So those are the kind of expectations and the other expectation you can say that uh, business related uh, knowledge because mostly uh, salesperson or you can say the category managers or the brand managers they come to you and they ask for uh, they just want a report they don't even they don't know what exactly they want so being a data analyst or being a data engineer you know you have to just uh, you have to give your inputs to them and tell them that this is the kind of report i'll be building for you and you know, and from this report you can get uh, all the necessary information that you are looking for in a day-to-day -day basis or in, on a monthly basis okay so like that and mostly we have a, a standalone standalone kind of uh, habit in our company like if you are looking after offline business like i look after offline business so i'm the only one who's looking after offline business and everyone comes to me and asks me this is the thing this is the problem statement i problem statement i have and just help me out and i have to do it it's my vertical and there's no one working on this vertical. So 
you have this uh, opportunity to work here if you get this opportunity though you can learn a lot so mm-hmm. learning opportunity is good in first grade it's exactly. like that Sounds really good. I guess I, yeah, does. I guess I answered your question. Yeah. Any, anything you want to know? Anything else? Um, not for no reason. I will wait for the feedback because, uh, yeah, I yes, think sure. if I got this opportunity, it would open my door to you know, learn more and enhance myself in this particular area. So yeah, I yes. will wait for the feedback and maybe see some. Sure. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Hello, friends. So, hope you had been, uh, you know, listen, going through that entire recording. So, try to make a note on the point. What are the skills and the areas that need to be worked on? And if you like this video, try to share with your friends and comment me if, if comment me your thoughts on this. Thank you.